You ever drive into work on a foggy morning? Well, if you're not careful about the air quality control in your shop, it'll look like that pretty quick in here as well. Something in the mist! Shut the doors! Shut the doors, my God! I'm Brad Thompson, this is Kremen Incorporated, and this is our way too early review of the Misfit 550. If you've been to our page before, you might have caught my review on the Mist Buster unit. It's similar to this, but they work in two different ways. The Misfit 550 is a traditional style filtering system. It's got four stages, two you can see right here, a third one, and a fourth one hidden inside. You'll also notice this gray collar down here at the bottom. We'll talk about that a little bit later. The first stage is just essentially a baffle system. You've got large grates, and these grates are really just meant to capture and stop large splashes of oil and fluid from getting up into the finer mesh filters up top. This essentially preserves their life, makes them last longer. You've got a second stage, which again, is a baffling type system, but meant to catch slightly smaller particulate. We've gotten past the large splashes at this point, and now we're getting the larger air droplets that still might get suspended in air that are gonna ultimately decrease the lifespan of our filter system inside. This is the third stage of the filter filtration system. This has a MERV rating of 15 and is supposed to last one to three years. This one is really the heart and soul of the system. I called this a four stage system to start off with. The fourth stage is a HEPA filter. Depending on the application, you may or may not need that because of how good this section is. Let's talk pros and cons a little bit. Pros with a system like this, it's just a traditional filtration system. You don't have to do a whole lot of work involved other than taking the filters out and replacing them. But they do cost money. Remember, the goal here is to make this middle section last about a year, if not three years. Now, if you can see this gray collar down here at the bottom, this is not part of the original unit. This is essentially a repeat of what I showed you at the beginning. And this was a custom add-on in an attempt to try and increase the lifespan of this middle filter. The whole reason that this is down here at the moment is when we first installed this unit, we couldn't make it three to four months without having to replace this filter. And like I said, they're expensive. This was one of the first attempts we made to try and increase the life of this filter. One additional thing that we've had to do to try and increase its life is it's still not making it that one year mark. These are designed to allow oil to drip back down in the machine. You're always trying to save as much as you can and all oil that you throw away is money lost. The fan that draws oil through this entire unit, if it never kicks off, there's oil that never gets a chance to drip back down. And you end up soaking your filter well before it needs to be. We've reprogrammed these so that any time the coolant inside the machine shuts off, even if the machine is still running, this fan shuts off in an attempt to allow more oil to flow back down into this unit. All right, let's talk bananas and give this thing a rating. At this point, we've reviewed two types of air quality control for your shop. Traditional unit, such as the Misfit 550, or the electrostatic mist buster units. Pros of these, easy to manage, you're just replaced filters. However, custom baffles, custom programming, I'm gonna have to knock this thing down a couple of bananas. This is our way too early review. We haven't quite finished up reviewing whether or not the custom program is gonna help yet. But again, because of that in the baffles, we're gonna give this one a three out of five bananas. If you remember, our Mist Busters got a three and a half. I'm gonna bump that up to a four at this point. And you can check that out later, and we'll see you next time.